Whoop whoop fam, it's on of high times with another YouTube video and this one strain review. We're smoking on some Zenberry. I'm gonna review the smell, the the looks, the taste, and it's from Sundial. So we're gonna check this one out, but first you know, gotta put some smoke in the air. That was nice. <coughs> <coughs> so let's get on to this. The buds. I opened it for. I opened it last video, and I realized I took too long to do the intro. So, the buds are nice. They're very nice. The only problem is they're not. They're not too dense, which is good. I like not dense, and the trichomes on them are just phenomenal. Uh, as I mentioned, but you can't really see it now because I already pulled them all off. But it wasn't quite trimmed 100%. I think it's also on this bud. You can see there's still some leaves, but that's no big deal. Just pick those off or smoke them, grind them up. I smoke them. I smoke anything. Res, whatever. So, the smell is a very fruity smell. And that I was expecting from it being called Zenberry. But it's a very soury fruit. Like, it's sour and fruity at the same time. So, and you know what? I was a little worried. The lady warned me in the store that this was a little bit more of a moisture bud. Which is what I like. But, uh, it's actually quite dry. Which is what le Canada's legal weed is supposed to be like. It's dried cannabis. It's not moist or anything like you get off the streets. It's very dry but we're gonna bust some up take a couple tokes and uh let you know what i think of this bang it out i always do get the key for later Oh, look at that. It's nice, fresh, green. I'm going to turn that down because I think you guys hear it well. So, we're going to now smoke on some of this uh, Zenberry and give my official review. So, as you can see, we got a nice bowl loaded. Just a small one because I don't know how harsh it's going to be, but we're going to get a nice taste here. <coughs> it has a good taste it is harsh but that's because it's a dried cannabis it's not as moist so it is harsh but it has a good flavor And my bowl is clogged. <sighs> Just fucking clean this thing. Hold on, I got unclogged my bowl. So I'm gonna smoke one more bowl before I give my official review of the taste. But I'm gonna tell you for looks, I'm going to give it a uh, seven out of 10. It was nice looking, nice uh, dry and white. I like that in a weed. I like kind of the better colors. The smell or the aroma, where whatever you want to call it, was very nice, very fruity, very enjoyable. Made me really want to smoke it. So we're going to take another bowl and give you the taste review. I'm going to try and get a better taste on this one.
Again, very nice. I would definitely. <coughs> <coughs> I like this, and it was also one of the cheaper eights from the from the dispensary. I think this one was like. 35 bucks if I have the receipt. No, I don't have the receipt. But it was like 35 bucks or something for this 8. So 32. Which from a dispensary is not bad for an 8. They have some 8s going up to 50 bucks. Which, if you want me to try, comment down below. Try the good Kush. Because I don't always buy the best because it's expensive. But I do want to try some high end Kush. And give you some reviews on that. So if you know any dispensary high-end kush that you think I would enjoy, comment it down below. Definitely do that. I would love some new flavors to try. <coughs> so... I think we're going to smoke one more bowl. I'm going to have a cigarette with you guys, tell you about everything that's going on in my life and everything. And uh, we're going to have a cigarette and go in, I think, because I'm... This is three bowls, and I'm actually pretty high. We're going to... I also meant forgot to mention, we're going to sit in, let the high kick in first. So, we're going to smoke one more bowl. We'll sit and talk. I'll have a smoke, because... I don't care what you say. It may you may say it boosts it. You may say it lowers it. I honestly find I stay just as high after a smoke. So, some people have different reactions than me. I don't want any hater comments. And yes, I smoke. I've been doing it for many years. I'm only 19. I've been smoking for about seven years. Cigarettes and dope. So. That hoot is making my eyes water. <coughs> Shit, I didn't bring a drink out. So we're going to have probably half a smoke. Maybe a full one, and I'll let you know. I'm already, after those three bowls, feeling... It was a heavy indica. I meant to mention that. I can actually read you the stats on that before I start my smoke. Total percent THC is 15.4. Uh, and it is... Also, CBD is 0 0.07. Which I'm actually supposed to be smoking higher CBD, but... Uh, but I don't think it tells me that it's an indica on here. But it was on the indica chart because that's usually what I smoke uh, because it relaxes my body more. There is another Kush I'm going to review with you that I'm not doing a whole other video on because it, I don't have much left and I don't have enough to smoke it. So this is just going to be... Because uh, I've smoked it lots, so I'm going to give my review for my past. But I'm going to let you guys see this bud. It's called Walk My Dog. You guys have heard me smoking on it. I get it quite often because I enjoy it. So these buds are a little bit smaller, as you can see. But they have a lot of color to them, which is nice. And the smell, it... Actually, it just smells like it, it doesn't have a strong smell to it, honestly. Fuck, I just dropped my cigarette. 
It doesn't have a strong smell, but if I would describe it, I would say kind of musty, if that makes sense. Kind of like a foresty area. It is very nice. I do enjoy it. It gets me right to sleep. Uh, that's usually my bedtime cush, is the walk my dog. Or I'm going to see how this stuff hits, because I'm actually feeling pretty tired. And I may get more of the Zenberry, because I really, I do enjoy the taste of it. Oh. <coughs> 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 oh my god. Guys, I am, I am baked now. This, for high, this is probably... good six out of ten i'm not super baked to the point where i can't function but i'm baked to the point where i keep needing to just calm you know relax for a second and just put my head back close my eyes and breathe so it is really nice and as you guys can tell i can tell by just looking at me my eyes have gone a lot more squinted so i am pretty high as you can tell So, uh, yeah, I do enjoy this. I would recommend buying it. Um, I don't know. I got this from New Leaf, uh, down in Ca Falcon Ridge, I believe it is. It is, if you are in Calgary, it is by Laziza's Pub and Pizza and Pub, uh, and The Shell. If you're taking Calgary Transit, you can go to McKnight Westwind Station or uh, anywhere you can catch the 55 going, not going to McKnight, but coming from McKnight. Before it, it is about, it's only a couple stops on the 55. If you're getting on at McKnight Westwinds, it's about five stops and... Yeah, and then if you take, you can also take the Max Orange, which drops you off either right across, right in front of it. You going from Brentwood or Saddletown, they're both right there. So go check them out. Really nice people work there. They're awesome. They'll help you out. They will, if you don't know much about smoking, you want to learn a bit more, they'll inform you. That's what they're there to do, guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions about what you're smoking on. Ask them even if, hey, have you had any good, bad reviews with this, you know? Like, you know, I'm going to try and do some more reviews of different strains so you guys don't have to guess. Fuck, that was pissing me off. Kept hearing a rattling in my truck. It's a fucking Timmy's cup. So, so I am definitely feeling this stuff. I would definitely recommend buying it. So, you know what? As an all-out kush and an all-out weed, I'm going to give this a solid seven and a half. It's nice, it tastes good, it smells good, and the high is phenomenal. So this strain gets an amazing review. I love this stuff. It's phenomenal. So I think I'm going to end it off there. I am also going to end it off by saying this channel is meant for 18 and over cannabis recreational and cannabis and medical cannabis users in legal states and and provinces uh yeah so peace out